Hello and welcome to KeywordK9.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you firsthand how to use Keyword K9 and why we believe it's one of the most valuable internet marketing products on the market today. So let's get right into it. There are four different modules that you'll see once you're logged into Keyword K9 Analyze, Niches, Reports, and Boost. And I'm just going to give you a quick high level overview of each one of these modules. I won't get into every little detail because I'm sure you don't want to be sitting here for an hour watching this video. So I'll do my best to show you what I believe is the most valuable and important parts of Keyword K9. So let's start off with the Analyze feature. So the whole purpose of the Analyze feature is to quickly and easily tell you whether a keyword is, is worth ranking or not. And along the way, we show you all kinds of different data. We have a complex algorithm in the back end that figures this out. Okay, um, And the accuracy of this shows in the case study sites that we published when we first opened the doors to Keyword K9 the first time. Um, where we found niches in the niche finder, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, we found an exact match domains register, which we found out in the analyze um, form, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, we pointed some basic backlinks to it, which basically what you get in the boost feature, which we'll also get into. And we got those sites ranked in the top 10 very quickly and very easily. Many of those sites, even post Penguin, um, the Penguin, you know, Google Penguin update, are still ranking number one, number two, number three, many of those sites. So it's very accurate. So let's go ahead and get into it. This feature over here is fairly new um, and what this this is the same as this but this one shows related keywords so let's just go ahead and give you an example here discount BMW parts and we do support all countries that Google supports so for this example we'll use United States click analyze keywords our canine gets to work sniffing through looking through that algorithm and as you can see you get all kinds of data here the number one thing is right here is it easy there are four different things that could show up here very easy easy moderate um, hard or fierce. That's five. Sorry, I can count. <laughs> um, so this is easy based on a 100 point um, algorithm scale, 33, pretty easy to target. Um, and you'll see if you look at this data, you'll find out you know why it's so easy. Um, so you get all this data right here. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. This is the average page rank of the top 10 competitors, exact match search volume directly from Google cost per click um, if you do if you're an advertiser um, AdSense advertiser you know how important this is the advertiser competition this tells you you know whether you're gonna have relevant ads showing up if you have an AdSense site or not 99.8 that's very high that means you will have relevant ads if you have an ad AdSense site you can export them CSV TSV that will export all this data okay so you quickly and easily know you know this is gonna be easy but you also get the exact match domain info there are four different exact match domains available. If you would have chose a different country, it would show a different TLD right here. Since we use United States, it shows that .us is available. If you chose Germany, for example, it would show .de, whether it's available or not. Okay, so you got that. Um, you can quickly, you know, register one of these domains. Um, and then you also have a lot of other data. You also have social signal, signal data, which is something new we've just added. Very important. As I'm sure you know, Google is looking more than ever at social signals. They even have it in the webmaster tools. They have graphs and everything. So they are looking at this, and I'm sure Bing is too. Okay, so you can quickly and easily see whether, you know, just the overall niche, um, how prevalent social media marketing is. And as you can see, it's not very prevalent in this niche. Uh, you see a lot of zeros here, Facebook lights, tweets, um, and Google Pluses. A lot of zeros, zero, zeros. Um, only a couple sites have a few um, likes and tweets and Google Pluses. So that tells you that you know just a little bit of social media marketing will go a long way in this niche. Um, and then another very exciting thing, which is also new, um, is an anchor text breakdown. So now you can actually see all the different keywords that all your competitors are targeting which is very important especially since this you know new Google Penguin update um, they want to see a variation of anchor text now you can actually look at your competitors and see what keywords they're targeting um, how many times they're targeting them so in, the, in this case Bimmer Parts Wholesale 16 instances so 16 times there are 16 backlinks using this exact anchor text um, pointing to their website so as you can see you know the the phrase we're looking for is discount BMW parts but most of these guys aren't Aren't even targeting that in their anchor text. There's only two cases um, where they're actually using that exact um, phrase in their anchor text. So that's huge right there. You can see all your competitors, you know, find get an actual breakdown of the anchor text they're using and how many times they're using it. Um, you could also even do that for your own websites. You know, any of them you got in the top ten, do a search, you're gonna see the anchor take anchor text breakdown of each and every one of them. 
You also get the page rank and you also get the number of backlinks pointing to each one of these um, competitor websites. Um, you get the page links and site links. Page links are the number of links pointing to the actual page. Site links are the number pointing to the entire website. You can actually click on any one of these and it will bring you to the reports page which we'll get into here in just a minute. Um, which shows even more uh, very cool data. Okay, so, but you know, this is all good and great, but what if you don't even know what niche you want to get into? That's where the niches module comes into place. This is a very simple, um, quick, and easy way to find high paying, um, low competition, high search volume keywords. So, the way this works is we just constantly list new keywords right here. Um, every time you log in and come here, you're going to see new keywords popping up here. Every few minutes, there's another keyword phrase popping in, then another, then another. Constantly finding new niches, and every time a niche is once it gets 30 days old, it drops off the list. No one ever has access to it again um, within Keyword Canine. It's not in there anymore. So they only show for 30 days, and we're finding new keywords every single day. So as as we talk right now, there are 6,200 niches that we found. Um, we found a lot more than that, but like I said, after 30 days, they drop off the list so they don't get oversaturated. And there's always new ones coming in. We also limit the membership. That's part of the reason why um, the doors are not always open to Keyword Canine because we want to. We don't want this to be oversaturated. You can also filter. Um, find only easy ones with you know at least let's say um, you know 250 exact monthly search vol uh, searches with at least let's say you know 80 cent search volume and we'll filter. I'm not going to do that because like I said we're very serious about not oversaturating this. We don't want to show everyone and um, you know all the good keywords um, although there are new keywords coming in every single day. But you know as you can see very quick and very easy way to find hot just really good niches to target um, and you know once you find one you can click on the actual keyword phrase and it will go into the analyze module and show you all that cool data that we just now showed for that keyword phrase. So that's a great way to find a, an overall niche to target and then you can use the analyze module to go from there and figure out you know whether you really want to target it or not. We also support the UK, Germany, and France. So we have keywords from all four of these different countries in those languages, um, which is also very cool. Okay, so that's the niches module. Very um, valuable, as I'm sure you can see, and our case study sites show that, um, like I said. Okay, so the third module is the reports. Now, this is something that is um, we've had, but we just recently upgraded this in a major way. I think you're really going to like it. It's very, very cool. Um, so you can create a report, and you have an option here to include links. Um, to any page on this domain so you can put in your URL or your competitors URL and then you have the decision whether you know whether you want to see all backlinks pointing to the entire website or only backlinks pointing to the URL um, you insert in there okay so we already have some running um, that's already ran so we'll go ahead and, sh and look at those so this is JL forms this is Jonathan's um, forum we'll go ahead and view that and as you can see, you get a lot of really cool backlink data here that you didn't have before. Um, we were using a third-party source for this backlink data. Now we have our own in-house um, source um, with a lot more very, very valuable information. So first off, you can see right here the anchor text breakdown. Um, obviously, this is the number one keyword, 137 instances of it, and then you have a few more. Um, you get the page rank breakdown, how many of the backlinks you know, are, are what page rank, um, whether they have no, no follow or do follow, and they have a pink background if they are no follow. You, then, you know, if, if they're no follow, obviously Google doesn't count those as backlinks. Um, and then the link depth breakdown, which I think is very valuable in addition um, to what we did have. <clears throat> And this tells you how deep the the link is. You know, you might get a backlink from a page rank, you know, seven website, but it's not going to pass a whole lot of authority if it's, you know, ten clicks from the home page. You know, that authority isn't going to flow through all the way down, you know, ten ten clicks, or not very much of it anyway. So this tells you, you know, okay, yeah, it's a page rank, you know, whatever, but how deep is it in the website? Okay, so as you can see, there's one home page link, which is very strong, and then six, only one click from the home page, which are pretty strong, 219 two clicks from the home page, and so on and so on. Okay, and then you also get the actual word count of each one of these pages, which I think is very, very valuable ever since um, uh, the Google Panda update. 
that's one of the things that they look at. They, they want to see um, big pages. So you can see kind of, you know, like the average of your competitors' backlinks, see how many, um, you know, see what the word count looks like for each one of those and kind of go from there. If you see a lot of, you know, really big pages with a lot of word count, then you know, you know, you better have some pretty big pages as well. And it's also just really interesting data to know, you know, how big these pages are. And then it also shows you the link depth, page rank, um, you know, page links, breaks it down just like in the analyze page. So, as you can see, very, very cool data, especially since, you know, Penguin, um, this last Google Penguin update, it's very, very important to analyze your competitors um, and also your own website. So, um, I'm sure you can see the value in the word count, the, you know, the breakdown of the backlinks and just all this, the, the link depth. Um, is also huge um, that these reports actually offer. Okay, so that's the reports page, and the last module is the boost. This is also a new feature that we just now started offering, and this is basically backlinks. This is the exact same kind of backlinks we used to get all those case study sites ranked um, in the top 10. Like I said, a lot of them still are even after Penguin. Um, the Penguin update didn't affect these sites whatsoever. As a matter of fact, a few of them are ranking better than ever. So. Um, the backlinks that we use, they're just basic backlinks. We explain it right here. Um, the kind of backlinks you get, we actually send you reports once they're done. Um, so it's just quickly and easily, you know, just enter your basic uh, website information, submit the boost, and we'll get to work behind the scenes. This is free of charge, no extra fee for all Keyword Canine customers. Um, free backlinking, um, a lot of cases this will get you to the top 10 of, of the search results um, as long as you know you did good keyword research with the analyzed feature and niches and you have a good niche that you're targeting. Um, a lot of times this will get you to the top 10 just submitting it right here. That's it. Um, and then like I said you'll get a report with all your backlinks. So um, as I'm sure you can see, you know, all the very cool new features we have within Keyword Canine to add on to what we already had, um, it's kind of turning into kind of a multi-tool that really takes a lot, a lot of time, work, and money out of um, basically profiting with your online business. And that is our goal overall. We're not trying to be, you know, just a keyword tool. We're trying to be, you know, a little bit of everything, but be very good at what we do. So. If you like what you've seen right here, go ahead and click the link to the right of this video if it is um, showing up. We do limit the membership. Very good reason. and We are very strict about that. This is not um, a marketing technique. We do this um, for a very real reason to... Um, limit the exposure to the niches but as well as you know we have a lot of data uses and everything else so we, we can't let everyone and their brother in um, we only let a select number of people in so if you do see the link and it is active to the right of this video be sure to click that right now um, <clears throat> it will not be there for very long and whenever we do open the doors again you know it may be a few months from now it may be a year from now we do not set that time so if you like what you see, go ahead and click that link right now, and we'll see you on the inside. Thanks.